In this video recorded on April 2nd, 2019, I walked through the ugliest subway station in New York City, Chambers Street in Lower Manhattan. It's pretty disgusting and you'll see it for yourself. So this is the Chambers Street station. It is also, also shared by the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall station. That's the name on the IRT Lexington Avenue side. The IRT stands for Interboro Rapid Transit. And where I'm about to go is the BMT platform, which stands for the Brooklyn Manhattan Transit side. Now, swipe in. IRT Lexington Avenue line. And this is the BMT side. So BMT stands for the Brooklyn Manhattan Transit Corporation. Many years ago, uh, there were two independent subway uh, systems, the IRT and the BMT. Here's an abandoned ticket window for the uh, Chamber Street side. You can see they tried to make it nicer with some artwork, but it's still kind of disgusting here. Buildings, boat, and a bridge, but it looks like uh, chipped paint and discarded wrappers now, as well as the tiles falling off here and rust accumulating on the pipes. Take a look at this corrosion. Now I do have to say that this station on the Chamber Street side is the basement for the Manhattan Municipal Building. Here's the uh, other side of the ticket window that was abandoned. This station's currently undergoing renovations to make it ADA accessible. The first uh, renovation in many, many years. For many years, it was actually neglected for a while. They're installing two elevators, stairways, ramps, and also um, decreasing the gaps between the platform and the train doors people working on the electrical system right now so I am going to descend onto the uh, Brooklyn and Queensbound platforms and brace yourselves because if you haven't seen this station before you're in for quite a surprise so I'm actually going to go here to the side a little bit. They've been doing a lot of work on that side of the station, which is actually an abandoned platform. You can't really see too much over it because uh, the boards are pretty high up, but there's an abandoned staircase, which leads upwards. Now there's no way to access that side from here because the door is locked. But you can even see... You can even see a lot of the dirt <coughs> accumulating on this column here and all the soot on the ceiling. So the next station south of here is Fulton Street. And the station north of here is Canal Street. So now we are on the platform and there's an abandoned center platform right across from me. The tiling's so dirty, it, you can probably just uh, wipe your finger on and it'll be all black. Here's track lubrication, do not enter. No dumping sign, but I see a lot of garbage there on the tracks. Some soda cans and a rug. There's a J train entering the station. R179 for those who are, who are interested. Currently it is the newest model of subway car. Yeah. In 
one of my previous videos, um, I actually caught someone going to the bathroom on the tracks. And it actually smells bad over here too. On the mezzanine there, I actually smell paint because they're doing lead removal work according to the signs. There must be a lot of old paints that's left behind from when this station was constructed over a hundred years ago. The Chamber Street side was opened on uh, in the year 1913. Already there's a work site and lots of graffiti everywhere. Road inside, caution. Just look at the condition of this uh, yellow platform edge. Definitely needs a renovation. Looks like they have been cleaning up that side a little bit. But it still needs a lot of work. But yeah, from my previous videos on this station, people have said this looks like a horror movie or looks like it could be a set for the Roscoe Street Station of Max Payne or The Matrix. Many people want to keep the station the way it is and make it like a museum or something, but just take a look at the level of uh, soot on those abandoned bottles that I'm pointing at right behind the third rail and under the platform. Who knows how many years they've been left there. The station is 105 years old. There's a sign for the IRT lines, which is not necessary now because not many people know what it is anymore. There's a... Now here's where I find very, very gruesome. Just take a look at the, uh, the side of the wall here. There's like mold roaring on the side and mildew. Rust on the pipes, peeling paint. Pretty disgusting. I've been down here in the summer and the, when it rains and it just smells horrible. There's like mildew stains and smelly things everywhere. I mean, I hope when they renovate the station that it gets cleaned up a little bit. I don't even know what that is, if that's like paint chips or like white powder from something. I'm very glad they sealed off that abandoned platform because it looked really bad. I think this northbound platform is much dirtier and more gruesome looking than the southbound platform. Here's some random water on the floor here. The ceiling's already leaking. Now this is what I believe to be the defining feature of this station. Wouldn't you like to have this as the entrance to your home, huh? I don't even want to guess what that orange is. If that's rust or mold, mildew, there's a loose outlet there with, I don't know what that is. It's so corroded that I can't even make it out. More rodent side applied. 
I'm sure there's plenty of rats here. Plenty of rats. There's a northbound Z train making its way to uh, Canal Street and to Brooklyn. This is one of the older trains of the New York City subway system. Looks like they even have upside down L on some of them and some of the roll signs said J. abandoned stubs to the Manhattan Bridge. They were severed ever since the um, BMT Broadway line was connected to the Manhattan Bridge instead. After the Christie Street connection. Now when this station opened in 1913, it was envisioned to be like the hub for Lower Manhattan because, ooh, some more water here i don't even know where it's leaking from but uh it was supposed to be the main hub for all of new york because most of the business activity was here and about three or four years after it opened there was even one newspaper article that said that the outer platforms were so crowded that they were even more crowded than grand central station and grand central terminal so that's that, the, um, the northbound platform. Here's the mezzanine for the Foley Square side, which is the name of the area above me right now. Now I'm going to the Broad Street bound side. So here's a, another side platform that was actually um, walled up because back in the 50s when the New York City Transit Authority merged the IRT and the BMT together into the, uh, the subway system as we know it today, they expanded the other side of the uh, station, the IRT Brooklyn Bridge City Hall side. So in order to do, to do that, they had to destroy part of this platform to make way for it. So you can see like it's like still there, but it's still pretty disgusting. So here's the northbound uh, side of the southbound track. This wall looks a lot better than that one, that's, that's for sure, on the other side. But it's still some random white powder and some glue and more road inside. Maybe that's the road inside. Even if I was a rat, I don't think I'd want to stay around here. I'd be smarter than that. Here's a train coming and don't even get me started on what that is across, the, across uh, from me on the other side, it's black. cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for this train it's such a shame too because this station is so old and ugly and then you have these new trains it's such a contrast and this entire side of the platform is wet I mean it rained two days ago and the station is still leaking I remember reading somewhere that the uh, station was even leaking when it first opened, so nothing's changed since then. 
I don't know why they didn't fix the leaks when they were still new and happening, but it is what it is now. This column has been completely stripped of all its tiling. You can see the exposed metal. It's in pretty poor shape right here. Even part of that wall is falling apart. It's like coming out and who knows what kind of stuff is on here. This tiling is cracking. I can see why they took up that entire uh, center platform and put up a work, or, uh, work area there. Just take a look at the ceiling, it's completely peeling. I guess they're removing all that paint there and they don't want any of it to fall onto the revenue platform. So, looks like there has been a lot of work done at this side. Thank goodness. The ceiling's been completely painted over with a new coat. Presumably all the lead paint was removed and replaced. And now this platform, the, the surfacing has completely changed. New yellow platform edge now. This material is much uh, less slippery than the old one. The old one. And I'm going to walk back over here because I didn't show you the wall and the ceiling for here. It's pretty disgusting too. Oh my gosh. I don't know how the city let this station just fall into disrepair over so many years. Like, it's absolutely incredible. The ironic thing is that uh, New York City City Hall and the Civic Center is just above this station. You would think the government would keep uh, take care of its subway station, <laughs> but I guess not. Well, this side is definitely an improvement from the other, but I wonder if they're going to do anything about these columns, if they're going to replace them or change it to a different material. They've already labeled them. This doesn't make sense at all. Why would they have this gigantic column here and then a staircase that leads part way into it? And then how can you even pass on this side? It's kind of dangerous to try. more water on the ground. I don't know where it's from. I really hope when they renovate this side that they get rid of all the leaks too. Here's a no dumping sign but I'm gonna take a quick guess and look over the edge and I'm gonna see litter. Lots and lots of litter, that's for sure. There's no 
dumping, but no one cleans up the mess. So if anybody wants to reminisce over the other side of the Chamber Street platform that was walled off, this looks like it's the only piece that's remaining of the original platform. This um, lighter yellow section was the wall that built that they built after they expanded the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall station. But this is the original um, tiling. So that center tile actually represents the Brooklyn Bridge because back in the day there used to be many um, trolleys and trains that came from the Brooklyn Bridge here. There's actually an error with the Brooklyn Bridge artwork. There's a mistake. It features parallel up and down cables instead of the, uh, <laughs> instead of the second set of diagonal cables that go from the bridge to the roadway. Looks like they boarded up this ceiling. They're supposed to add a uh, pedestrian overpass connecting the two platforms, so I'm assuming this is where it's gonna be. I love this part. There's a column here extending you outward into the platform edge and then the staircase that takes up like that entire side. But I'm going to exit the station now. I'm getting out of here as soon as I can because I don't want to sniff any more mold and lead paint and other stuff. I already smell a lot of paint. Look at that. That conditions in the, that ceiling's in the best condition ever. So I'm getting out of here. And I'm just gonna show you the stark contrast in the condition of that station compared to what's outside. You'll be absolutely amazed. So here's the Manhattan Municipal Building with beautiful Gustavino tiles. City Hall. And this is what's on top. Its basement is that ugly subway station that I just showed you. Thanks for uh, watching this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe, give us a like, and stay, stay tuned for some more videos. Tap the bell icon if you want to get notified, and I'll see you next time.